Nigeria is in the grip of a kidnapping epidemic. Heavily armed gangs terrorize cities, towns, and highways. These are some of the weapons that we have recently recovered from bandits. Wow. We don't even use this in the police. They seem to take anyone at will. Suddenly, we heard a loud gunshot. Four or five of them came out from the bushes. Ordinary citizens, businessmen, even kings. Our people are really touched, and the pain is unquantifiable. But a new anti-kidnap unit, led by Nigeria's most famous cop, Deputy Police Commissioner Abakiari, claims they are the answer. We have brought down kidnapping along this expressway from 10 kidnapping per day to less than one kidnapping in a month. They say they'll clear out the gangs and bring back the rule of law. Is this unit the answer to Nigeria's kidnap crisis or just more of the same corruption and violence that has plagued policing here for decades? This is the Intelligence Response Team, or IRT. The unit was set up to fight a kidnapping epidemic that has now spread to all corners of Nigeria. Anyone can be taken, rich or poor, at any time. And paying a ransom does not guarantee you get out alive. Sunny Ubwa is the unit's second in command. You know, not too many people understand that this is what we face on a daily basis. Having to encounter people who are heavily armed and probably operating on hard drugs. Mm -hmm. So they're very daring. The IRT are known throughout Nigeria for their success in taking down some of the country's most notorious kidnappers. I'm spending three weeks embedded with the unit to see how they work firsthand, on the condition that I don't reveal their tactics. This is the IRT's founder and leader, Deputy Police Commissioner Abakiari. Besides a host of policing medals, Commander Kiari is the youngest high-ranking officer in the Nigerian police force and known to many as Nigeria's super cop. You know, it's all about intelligence. So anybody that we're going to go after, we have to be sure before we go after the person. We just don't go blindly and arrest somebody to be man. It's very important to send the message to the females that Kiari and his people will follow you wherever you are and they will never forget. <laughs> It's not long before I get a chance to see Abakiari in action. He's just been called to the scene of a kidnapping that has gone horribly wrong. A traditional ruler in the northwest state of Kaduna has just been murdered by his captors. The case threatens to ignite ethnic tensions in an already volatile state. Abakiari has been sent by his superiors to spearhead the investigation. This kidnapping and the king has brought a lot of tension in the state. The whole country and the state are looking up to IRT to see that these guys are arrested and brought to justice. And, 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 and we'll see to that. A ransom of 10 million naira, or $30,000, was paid for the release of the king and his wife. But the kidnappers executed him anyway. His wife was later released. This is the evidence of beating. Mm, I was tortured. <laughs> And mommy, they are like how many? They were nine. Even when they were going with you inside the bush. Yes, they were, they were nine in number. We visit the location where four people in the king's entourage were killed during the kidnapping. District police officer John Hammond was the first policeman at the scene. Yeah, so, and, and you can see mm. the the spot where the bullet hit. You can see the small hall. So it's very sad, very bad, but. Um, by God's grace, we're going to get them. They will most surely answer for this thing. You can see the other one here, too. You can see the spot. This is where they just but, uh, what the fired the first time. They've experienced this since my taxi is in the police. I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's too sad. They're very sad. Too sad. After a six-month investigation, the IRT arrested the suspected ringleader of the gang responsible for this attack. But for thousands of ordinary Nigerians, the trauma of kidnapping is something they must face alone. Paul and Spencer were kidnapped while driving on a major expressway. Uh, they came out and were shooting sporadically in the air. 
and pointing the guns at us in the car and he asked us to lie on the floor. And of course, at that moment, I felt that that was the end for me because I had never seen a gun to my face like that. When their family couldn't raise a ransom, they were forced to listen on the phone to Paul and Spencer being beaten and tortured. Eventually, one million naira was paid for each of them. Now they want justice. Uh, I want them to face the full wrath of the law because if we don't come these things away from our society, we're in for serious trouble. Paul and Spencer's hopes for justice now lie solely with the IRT. An IRT unit is already on the tail of their kidnappers. This is the perfect time what to go after them because they are more relaxed now. They are not armed, they are within town. So we just need to go undercover. Okay. Uh, that's why I'm taking off my uniform. I don't want any identity or anything because we're going there fully on operation now. IRT officers have tracked down one of the main suspects in this case. They find him in a bar with several other suspected gang members. The men are seized, taken into custody. Maji takes their photos and sends them back to the kidnap victims. I have his number. I just gave them some shots. I want him to identify them for me. There's already enough evidence to hold them for now. But I can't help wondering whether these men will ever have access to a lawyer or if their families have been informed where they are. The IRT might be effective, but there are warning signs that due process isn't always top of their priority list. The IRT are not just going after roadside bandits. They are also responsible for the capture of these alleged Boko Haram terrorists, many of whom are accused of kidnapping over 200 schoolgirls from the town of Chibok in 2014. Mainza Alaji Modu has already confessed to playing a key role in the kidnap of the schoolgirls. But he insists he never took advantage of them. It's impossible for us to verify Mainta's confession, but it's a story I've heard from most of the kidnappers I've met. But their victims may not find it so easy to forgive and forget. The IRT successes regularly make national headlines, but the unit also has its critics. The network on police reform in Nigeria said they have received a number of complaints about police brutality by IRT officers. Operatives of the IRT, they're involved in all manner of abuses, you know, torture, and enforce disappearances. How complicit would you say that the leadership of IRT is in all these things you've talked? I have, don't have any evidence that Abakari as a person has been involved, but officers under him have been involved and this has been brought to his attention, but he hasn't done enough, in our view, to address the particular officers whose names keep coming up to bring them to account. In my final meeting with Commander Abakiari, I want to confront him about these worrying allegations. You have offices or facilities all over the country. Is it a challenge controlling your men, many of whom have been accused of human rights abuses? And any complaint that comes to us, we look into it. If we see that our officer is fine, found wanting, we're going to, we, we normally take action on him. Mm. All those guys that have been killing innocent citizens, they want to continue. But who stopped them? We risked our lives to stop them. And do you think they would like us? You know, these are things they do in order to try to get freedom. And they will go and still talk that they were tortured, they were this, they were that. All lies. No criminal wants to be convicted. Let them prove it. The threat of kidnapping has now become a fact of life for most Nigerians. It may take generations to address the issues that have turned some young people into violent kidnappers. But for now, what Nigerians desperately need is a police force that can bring the rule of law back to the country.